Hey everyone, welcome to See Your Star, Uplifting Your Power Higher. So, I am here to talk with you today about a new topic is, you know, do you ever feel like you're going through the day and you're going, oh, is there more to this? It makes me think of that song. I was in a restaurant the other day with someone and I heard that song. It's like, more than this? There is more to this than what's going on in your life. There is so much more. So, are you ready? Please come with me to the bowl to go where this channel has not gone before. And it is more than this, asking the right questions, you know, aliens, the stars, and the universe. So here it is, again, see your star. This is, again, showing the stars, that we're all stars together. When you look at the st galaxy, the star, we are all stars. It's the quickest thing I could find that really demonstrates, again, shows reminder of the stars and lifts us up. So, okay, let's just, like... <laughs> Aliens, how the heck does aliens, whether you believe in aliens or not, it, it doesn't matter. Um, my beliefs may surprise you. So just hold that with me. It will help you and just really good reminders. So yeah, aliens, spiritual, the universe. And how does that work with business and success? You know, this is not related, but actually it is. So and just enjoying your life if you're not thinking from a business perspective. Okay, so we'll first go with um, the subject of aliens and UFOs. Do I believe they exist? Um, I believe that yes, it's definitely possible. However, I have never seen an alien or the, let's count E.T. Uh, or I played one on TV. <laughs> I really did. So, <laughs> or UFO. Uh, no, I have not seen one. Uh, but I know people who claim that they have and they are relatively same people. One person who told me, I'm not quite sure, but the one... There are people I know who have. So, do I think disclosure is something that's coming? Probably not. I think that there could be a fake disclosure going on. And again, trust me, this is all going to relate to asking the right questions. But we need to get this ground first. So, again, disclosure. Do I think it's probably going to happen? No. Do I think there's a possibility that there could be a fake UFO invasion or, you know, unidentified objects? Do I think the government has ships that we may not know of? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do I believe they don't? No, I don't believe it. No, not at all. <laughs> Read between the lines. No, I don't. <laughs> Was that obvious? I hope so. So, yes. Yes, it exists. It's been in, covered in so many things. There's Project Blue Book. There's all these different research things you can look into. But again, I'm about keeping it real, keeping it fun. So, we don't have to be so serious about these things. Again, serious. Why so mysterious? <laughs> That's what I'll say. Why is it's all about the unidentified, the unknown? Um, I will say that <laughs> there are certain, um, you know, we may feel things that we've never felt before. So it's asking the right questions. Do you want to feel things and there, you know, we may still be experiencing things we've never felt before that are amazing and awesome. And look at the sky. It's why part of why I call my channel See Your Star. It's like to awe. It's what came to me. But was to awe at life, to marvel and ask like, wow, the right questions. Or if it's not even asking a question, if that's too mind-based for you, it's feeling that, experiencing that, experiencing the universe, not just our day-to-day, -day, nine to five or 10 to six or whatever the heck your hours of working or living is, is going, no, this is, that's so earthly. Let's, let's look beyond, up, 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 up and away to the universe and the stars. So yeah, again, looking at my notes here. So the Vatican talked about, I'll tell, well, before I get into to the Vatican. This is another story. I'm going to go into um, what I have noticed in two particular occurrences that stand out to me as being incredibly authentic. I know there's tons of them out there, but the ones that are most compelling to me are the Phoenix Lights. I'll leave links to, there's a documentary down below, make your own decision. It was a mess uh, sighting. Um, it's, it was huge. That one stands out as the most kind of compelling to me because that was also at a time where technology was not what it is today. Um, I believe it was in the 90s or something. I'll annotate it somewhere here. I forget the exact year, but yeah, watch. Uh, there's a documentary on it. If you haven't seen it, you probably have, but um, I found that amazing the amount of people have seen it. And there were from all different types of people, police and lawyers, doctors, psychologists, all um, business people, people in 
in politics, you know, there's there's just so many. And even people who were politicians who said made fun of it at the time, years later came out and said, actually, I do think that something happened or I don't know what it was. And, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thanks a lot for discrediting people and making them feel like crap. Thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Two. Case that stands out for me would be the sightings that were seen in New York City in October 2010. I remember that coming up on the news and I was very quick about it, but I just thought, huh, that was interesting that they saw some in New York. But what I didn't know at the time, there was a tired NORAD officer who said and predicted, he said he was channeling or knew someone who had something to do with, was in contact. Personally, I'm not huge into channel works. I'm not saying that there isn't validity to it, there definitely can be, but interestingly enough, he said, he predicted and said, or shared, whatever word you want to use, that there was going to be massive UFO sightings throughout the world, and it was going to be in October of 2010. Okay, and I'm going to leave a link down below of a video where it actually was said. My thinking with this is it's two possibilities. One, that there definitely was, it is out otherworldly, or maybe he knew because it was something to do with the military whatever we want to call it, black ops, white ops, gray ops, red ops, I don't know, whatever we want to call it, you know, that there's maybe that's where it was happening. However, very interestingly, these formations that were seen in New York, so there are multiple, I'm going to leave uh, just in a minute after I tell you this story, a quick one minute news clip that shows you, or it might be a minute and a half clip that shows you exactly it as they're happening, they actually, the news covered it because like they could not ignore it, <laughs> it was there a lot of people are looking up is because of a mystery in the sky. Is it a balloon, a UFO? Whatever it is, it sure has a lot of people talking. Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Begase is live in Chelsea where crowds have gathered. Jeff, what's this all about? Well, Sade, we don't know, quite honestly. And when I got this assignment, I thought for sure somebody in the newsroom was joking. And it wasn't until we pulled up to this corner and saw the passers-by looking up that we realized that, okay, maybe there is something in the sky today. Oh, oh, just... oh, snap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. got it? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's, uh... Maybe Superman. Maybe maybe Wonder Woman. <laughs> You'd rather it be Wonder Woman. Yeah. Huh? There is something up there, and there's been a crowd of people at the corner of 8th and 23rd Street trying to figure out exactly what it is. I think I see it now. There's right over there. Right there. Wait, there's another one over here? I just see... I saw... I see those two over there. Earlier today, it was over here. I think it's a balloon. I don't know. You think it's a balloon? Yeah. All right. But then again, balloons don't stand still. Maybe we're not all just seeing things. The city is reporting that they've been getting calls about this mystery in the sky to their 311 line. So far, they don't have an answer. What is that? To that question either. Well, what That's do you think it is? I don't know. <laughs> you don't want to say I'm it. looking for the mothership. <laughs> Did she find it? Well, still a mystery. We don't know. We did make some calls, and we uh, found out from the FAA that their planes aren't being affected by these white lights. Not that that answers the question. So it remains a mystery. Everybody out here seems to have an opinion on it. I was told that there have been some people out here just standing around looking up for about 45 minutes trying to figure it out. We're live in Chelsea. Jeff Begay's Channel 7 Eyewitness News. But... Yeah, it, ha it happened. They said it would happen. It happened. Apparently, it also happened to other places in the world. So, um, very interesting. <laughs> interesting indeed. Now, do I think that means that everyone who sees a UFO or an alien or whatever, that that's real? Absolutely not. There are some people who I could say crazy, but instead of saying crazy and putting people down, I'm just going to say some people may be misinformed. <laughs> they may not be seeing it correctly. Maybe they are. Who am I to judge? But I definitely think that not all cases, sometimes people, we have to be objective and it's okay to be, I mean, you don't have to be objective, but I think it's a lot more fun to sort of be like, okay, let's look at this with our, you know, our intuition and in our heart, but also like kind of using common sense can, you know, it doesn't have to be uncommon. We can use both. We can definitely have both keep going on this topic if those who are out there and pursuing truth you know all the power to you what i'm saying is ask the bigger question of like what more could we be you know there are there are people asking these questions that are helping to fuel things and sort of behind the scenes and in front of the scenes if we only pay attention pay attention pay attention <laughs> so here it is the vatican this one always stood out to me as being like 
The Vatican has come out, for those who don't know, and they have an astronomy program come out with some very interesting statements I'm going to read to you. So I made sure I'm saying this 100% accurate and not making it in my words. Here we go. It is probable there was life and perhaps a form of intelligent life. Funes, his name, who works in the Vatican astronomy program, said, there is no conflict between intelligent life and the teaching of, teachings of the Catholic Church. Just as there is a multiplicity of creatures on Earth, there can be other beings, even intelligent ones, created by God. This is not in contrast with our faith, because we can't put limits on God's creative freedom. Wow. <laughs> Wow, just feel that for a sec. Okay, wow. I mean, again, we don't need people to tell us what's to believe or not to believe. That's my personal opinion. If, But just, they're saying it, you know. Okay, asking bigger questions. What is our role in the universe? They talk about, I found this kind of inspiring. And again, take from it what you will. They said, lastly, and the scientific pursuit of knowledge about life began on Earth can also help us to understand ourselves to understand our potential and also our limits. So, wow, like going beyond, beyond my my car, my house, my wife, my spouse, my money, my energy, my whatever, like, oh my God, there's like a huge universe, like really feel that, like, look at the sky, like I'm looking at the sky right now, I'm gonna look away from the camera. I'm looking outside, looking in the window, looking at the clouds, and I'm looking at the clouds, looking beyond the clouds, even though I can't see that with my physical eyes looking in the earth, going to the galaxies, going to beyond that. Like, can you look beyond? You know, our eyes can deceive us. I mean, they can definitely tell us the truth too, but like, look with your inner eye, look with your, not even just your heart, I talk about that so much, but like, just be open, like, wow. It doesn't know, I'll be honest that sometimes when I've seen images of aliens, definitely can be a little frightening. So I'd say if they did come to earth, uh, or if they already have, that, you know, it's definitely, probably a better possibility and something to talk about. But anyway, that's another conversation. This is what I have to say. Now, I don't see it as any different as seeing a friend, you know? Like, if you're meeting a new friend, or say, you know, someone you're interested in, here's what I have to say. Let's go for coffee first. <laughs> so if you have an alien, do you necessarily want to meet them at night when you're tired and, you, you know, it might be interesting and, you know, you're sort of, Defenses are down, but maybe you want to meet them during the day. That'd be me. I'm like, you know, meet them first. Do you want to go get on their ship or them to tell us here or there? I mean, I don't know. So again, <laughs> coffee first. Let's go for coffee. What do they drink? Do they even want anything? Let's go for a walk. Oh, I don't know about walk. Let's go meet in somewhere first in public. You know, let's see what you're about. Hopefully you find some way to communicate, whether that's telepathic or otherwise. So again, the, the reminder here, anything is really possible. The Vatican is talking about going beyond ourselves. When we ask ourselves bigger questions, achieving bigger things, just feeling and being bigger, it's just, I don't know, it makes our little problems, doesn't take them away, but it makes us a change of perspective and maybe we come up with other creative solutions that we didn't even think of. So ask the right questions, ask bigger questions, and uh, yeah, and let me know how you feel about this topic. Is there something this is like too out there for you, you want to hear more of, you want me to take a different spin, talk about this or that, let me know down below. What do you think about it? True, untrue? I don't know. I'm open to hearing. But let's just stay open and share and grow. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember, see your star. We are all stars together. And subscribe, subscribe. I would love, love, love it. And I will see you later. Also, if you want, check out my website, seeyourstar.com, where I also have other articles and magical things to share, as well as everything down below on Pinterest. And you can also find all, reach me, usual channels, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.